why do we see the shortcomings of a person we are angry with and not their good qualities? You see, you can actually never get angry with anybody but yourself. When you're angry with yourself, when you're frustrated with yourself, then you express that frustration in different ways. Some burst like volcanoes, some smoke like wood that's wet, some sulk, some shout. The reason you see only shortcomings because you only see in others what you have in you. The quantity may vary, but you cannot see in others what you don't have in you. If I have two eyes, I can see your eyes. If I have one eye, I may still see your eyes. But if I don't have eyes, I cannot see your eyes. What you have in you is what you see in others. This is what I mean when I say this world is a reflection of your mind, of yourself. Those who are very cunning people, they find it very hard to believe anybody. Because they are cunning themselves. They are always dodging people, they are always tricking people, so they think everybody out there is doing the same to them. This is what I mean when I say turn inward, that anything you don't like in anybody, the answer will come from you not from them. And that's why you see the shortcomings. Because at that moment, you somehow want to justify your anger. You somehow want to believe that I'm right. And if you see their shortcomings, you have given yourself a good reason to believe. Maybe I should replace the word reason with excuse. You've given yourself an excuse that I have the reason to be angry because of these problems. Sometimes I find it hard to apply spiritual teachings in real life. For example, when I do my best to turn the other cheek and not reacting, I'm being taken advantage of. Can you please advise? You should not turn your other cheek, you should turn the other cheek of the other person. <laughs> there was a man, he went to a dentist. He said, how much do you charge to take out a tooth? He said, well, if I have to give anesthesia, local anesthesia, it will be $100. Without anesthesia, it's only $10. He said, that's okay. You do it without anesthesia. He said, are you for sure? Are you for real? It's really going to hurt. It's really going to pain big time. He said, that's okay. Pain can be tolerated. You do it. He said, listen, I'm, give, if, I'm, I'm happy to give you $10, $15 off if you can't afford. He said, no, I can afford, but tolerating pain is no problem. You do it. He says, okay, come take a seat. And he calls, honey, come on in. He's not for me, it's for my wife. He said, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not talking about taking out my tooth. I'm talking about taking out my wife's tooth, so she's going to take the seat. 
yes, applying spiritual teachings is hard. Because you can apply it on you, but what about the other person? But the rewards will come if you do. At that time, you have to be mindful of the choice you are making. A. I am going to apply this teaching no matter what. B. Forget all teaching, let me get my stick first. <laughs> right? It's a choice. It's a matter of choice. The more you execute, execute the choice you want, the more aware you become of your choices. And the easier it gets to execute the right choice the next time. But when you apply a certain teaching, then you start to, it starts to become your habit. If it becomes your habit, then it does not bother you anymore. So, what the other person is doing? You would like to think you have control, but you have actually no control. You only have control over your own. But I don't believe you need to give the, give the other cheek. You need to protect yourself. You don't have to become a pushover. Because if you're going to give the other cheek, it's going to now hurt double. You will be in greater pain. If you are in pain and you are hiding it, that doesn't mean the pain has gone away. Your problems will remain the same. So if something bothers you, ask yourself, why is it bothering? And take it a given that the other person is not going to change. Although what does happen when your mindset changes, you start to see the other person from a changed perspective. 